Good morning everyone, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, it's Hannah Stewart here, taking over Oz Queendom today, blooming buzzing. Um, I'll put a little question box thing here so you can ask me some questions, because I haven't done one for ages. So, um, yeah, hope you're all okay, I hope you're all keeping sane and safe and well. Um, how exciting, the news yesterday, who's buzzing. Um, yeah, I'll pop a little question box here and I'll check in with you throughout the day. Love you. Oh, that is so sweet of you to ask. I'm very well, thank you. Feeling very excited after the announcement yesterday. Um, very hopeful to get back to our beloved six and yeah, just start putting smiles on people's faces again. We've missed, yeah, we've missed it so, so much and we just can't wait to get back to doing what we love um, and to bring the show back that you love. Uh, I trained at Mount View Academy of Theatre Arts. I'll put their tag down here. Um, I did the three-year musical theatre degree course. Best three years of my life. So I've done my little workout for this morning because I want to be nice fit for when we get back to the show. Um, and now I need to go wash my hair because... Mm. <laughs> it's not cute. Hello, everyone. That's better. Um, I'm gonna answer some more questions now, so here we go. Uh, GCSEs, I did obviously all the ones that you have to do, English, Math, Science, and then I did Spanish, History, Performing Arts and Drama, and IT. Is that it? I can't really remember. And then for my A-levels, I did English Literature, Drama, Performing Arts, and Sociology. So many um, food related questions and I'm absolutely here for it. Um, favourite thing to bake, probably brownies or like cupcakes or biscuits, basically anything nice. Maybe, who knows? I mean, as we all know, six, anything can happen. So who knows? Absolutely an ally. And I'm so supportive of the LGBTQ plus community. And I'm really trying to learn and expand my knowledge and understanding of everyone and everything involved with that world. This is such a good question. Um, yeah, it just changes. It's all ad lib. Um, so we just make it up. But it has to be like relevant to who you're playing. So when I'm par, I think I usually say something like, stop it, you're making me blush. And then, and then um, when I'm Seymour, I think I say something like, oh my God, you're so cute or something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just make it up. I'm really sorry, no. No, I love pineapple, but leave it off of my pizza. This is a lovely question. Um, I'm really enjoying reading at the moment. I've really got back into it recently, which is so nice because it's so easy to be like, oh, I don't have time and I've got time at the moment. So it's been really lovely. Um, I also love to have a bath. I love to watch you. Sorry, it cut me off. Um, I love to watch YouTube or Netflix and I like coloring as well. I've got like a mindfulness coloring book um, and just like taking some time for yourself really, whether that be meditating or just being quiet or yeah, whatever you need. I would just say try and make it as an enjoyable experience as possible. Surround yourself with people that make you feel good, that support you. Work hard, be nice. It goes so quickly, so just try and enjoy it. Um, not as far as I know. Um, it's just usually um, the gorgeous Super Swing who has the variations of costumes. So that would be our lovely Colette. Um, and obviously, with going back post lockdown, costs are trying to be kept down because we obviously we're having a socially distanced audience so um yeah i think as much as we can keep costs down we will be there have been so many lovely things about lockdown um but i'd say probably one of them was the six video um that we released which was so lovely and so much fun um and also clapping for our wonderful carers i'll never forget that Yes, I do. I love a podcast. Um, I've been listening to um, Chris and Rosie Ramsey's podcast, um, Something Married Annoyed, um, which is so funny and so good. And I also, as a bit of a guilty pleasure, I love the Gemma Collins podcast. Also, um, David Tennant does a podcast. It's literally called David Tennant Does a Podcast. And that is amazing. Like He talks to so many incredible actors. 
Um, and I think he's just about to come back with another series of it. So yeah, look out for that. It's so good. Um, obviously, the Queen Dump podcast. If you haven't listened, what are you doing? Keep listening. Not usually. <laughs> um, the only time I might watch one is if I've like done a new track just to see how it came across. But um, no, not as a general rule because I'd just be too self-critical, I think. Auditions are really hard. Like It's so difficult to put your best self across in such a short amount of time. Um, but I think the thing to remember is that they want you to do well. The panel want to cast their show. Um, and just believe in yourself. Try and stay calm and... Yeah, just try and keep calm, like maybe do some deep breathing before you go in, um, be very prepared, that always helps, I think that makes you keep calm, um, but yeah, just just know you can do it. I'm just off to go and visit my mum, um, so I will check in with you guys later, it's so hot here, absolutely boiling, I can't believe it's September, madness, have a good day. Hello everyone, I'm back now, um, I just had to park the car a bazillion miles away from my flat because it's now um, back to school, isn't it? And it's so much busier everywhere. And now this is what always happens. I'm walking back and I see a space right near my flat. I just came on here to quickly say, since when did it become weird to smile at people in public? I just smiled at a man and I walked past and he looked at me like I had two heads. <laughs> like, let's just smile at each other. It's nice. I'm not even in London at the minute. People are usually better in Essex, but Jesus, give a little smile. Come on. We all need a bit cheering up these days. I may or may not be doing a concert, an online concert at some point soon. Um, and I just wondered if you guys had any ideas for songs you'd like me to sing. Um, so I'll pop another suggestion box here. Um, oh god, <laughs> nearly fell down the steps. Um, yeah, give me some ideas if if I was going to be doing a uh, bit of online concert. Hello, hello. Um, I'll answer some more questions now that I'm back. Um, it's very hot. It's very hot today. I mean, I love the sun, but I'm, I'm, I'm sort of done now. I want autumn and jumpers and boots and coziness. No more sun, please. I assume you mean um, soprano, alto, all that jazz. Um, I am, I would say, like a, a mezzo-soprano. Um... I actually am much more experienced in sort of not classical singing but more legit singing. I had never really belted or learned how to belt until I went to drama school. So um, yeah, I love legit singing as well as more contemporary stuff. I was lucky enough to meet Alicia when she came down to help us for a little while and um, Nat Pilkington. So they're both gorgeous, lovely queens, lovely girls. Um, I think it will probably be stamina, like just getting our bodies and our voices used to doing eight shows a week again, like it's hard. Um, and yeah, you can only do so much whilst not in that job. So yeah, I think stamina will be the hardest thing. Um, I actually just had to look up what being dead named was. I knew that it happened, but I didn't know what that it was called that. So thank you for... Um, educating me on that um firstly i am so sorry so sorry that that has happened to you is happening to you um you're amazing um i think a lot of things happen that happen come from being ignorant um and people not understanding um which is no guys it's going to be a long one um that is no excuse um but i think it's really important to try and educate people in you know and have open conversations about things and do you understand why doing that would be hurtful um and yeah because i think a lot of it comes from, a lot of things like that can come from lack of understanding um and i mean as for the bullying that is just unacceptable anyone who's being bullied being bullied um you need to tell someone um hopefully you've got someone that you can confide in whether that be a friend a friend or a teacher or a family member um and also the whole trans journey is such a massive thing to go through so you need someone to talk to and just know that there are a lot of people who are there for you you're loved you are so enough and what you're going through or have been through is such an incredible journey and i'm so proud of you
Well done. But I don't need your love. No, no. I don't need. everyone just wanted to check in and say good night thanks so much for following along with me today um and if you fancy giving me a follow i'll put my handle down here it's at hannah stewart 95 um hopefully we had a great day and can't wait to keep in touch with loads more exciting sick stuff so have a great rest of your week lots of love also massive thank you to oz queendom for having me on today i've had the best time um yeah give them a little follow if you don't already and lots of love